From a sunlit perch amid foliage, a white horizontal and curving structure sits in a harbor. A title, Reflections on the USS Arizona Memorial. When the Arizona Memorial opened, you lined up on the pier in one line while waiting and going out there, especially on the way. And when I got there, I had goosebumps about six inches high on my arm. John Murrill, U.S. Navy, USS Castor. Yeah, I don't care how many times I go there. When I step on that platform, it sort of breaks me up. Jim Bounds, U.S. Navy, USS Oklahoma. Time. It's, and I've gone out year after year. And, uh, I'm going out this year, the 7th of December. And it's just one of those things. Seen through rectangular ceiling openings, the U.S. flag flies against a blue I've sky. I've gotten to a point where it's almost too much. Joan Martin Rodby, civilian witness, Hawaii to go there. It's a place that is like no other. It's wonderful and yet it's so sad. A wide cement ring in the harbor. I just think of these guys that trapped down there, couldn't get out, and what they gave up, you know, and how they really tried to do their best under the horrible circumstances to help their buddies and to try to save themselves. Elmer Manley, civilian witness. It's like the song says, remember Pearl Harbor? His eyes well. We'll remember. There's an emotional feeling because of the men that are there. Georgia Kay, civilian witness, Hawaii. And I'm proud of them. And I always try to read all the names when I go there. And whenever visitors come to Hawaii, that's the must. You must visit the Arizona. They must remember. Names etched in white marble. So I've gone on this memorial there, and I looked out there, I see all the names that 1,177 names. And I know down below on, this, on a ship, there's 900. Herb Weatherwax, U.S. Army, Schofield Barracks. 900 of them. I get touched. <laughs> that didn't have had a chance. And that's uh, where their lives terminated. It brings, excuse me, it brings that, it brings tears to my eyes. He dabs his eyes with a tissue. And, uh, and this is one thing I, uh, I try to impress uh, the people that visit out there. You're going out there. Pay respect to those youngsters that they have had a chance. And I believe their, their spirit is there about that ship. I feel it. A faint rainbow arcs above the memorial. Words appear. They fought together as brothers in arms. They died together, and now they sleep side by side. To them, we have a solemn obligation. Admiral Chester W. Nimitz. Credits appear, including producer and editor Ted Roach, executive producers Paul Dupre, Chuck Dunkerley. Interview footage provided by World War II Valor in the Pacific National Monument. Finally, the Arrowhead logo of the National Park Service, a bison with a green forest and tall tree at left, a snow-capped peak in the background.